I got the ether cord and I got a cable cord and I got a modem so that that way I can put the computer together. So I did that and now we're going to go get it. All of the computers that are used in the county and are refreshed come to San Diego Futures Foundation specifically to go to nonprofit organizations and other qualified individuals, disabled veterans, elderly, basically trying to bridge that digital divide of individuals that just don't have access to the equipment that we're trying to provide. When we get them, a lot of times they're pretty, pretty beat up, a little, little bit dirty. So we'll do everything from taking an air compressor and blow out the dust that's collected inside of them. We'll wipe them down, we'll clean up the LCD screens, we'll clean the keyboards, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and load software on them and uh, clean them up, put a sticker on them, and, and distribute them to individuals and other nonprofit organizations. Anytime you know that you're truly helping somebody, it definitely hits a special spot each time we're, we're donating a computer to somebody that it really impacts their life with. This is your, your, C brain. your CPU tower? Yeah, the brain. CPU tower. Yep. Blue plug goes to blue input. Oh, thank you. USB mouse through the back. With this program, it's, it's amazing, and I think everyone involved tremendously because you don't realize how important it is for not just my family, there's many families in my neighborhood. I can count three people offhand that don't have the benefit of having this type of program. Look what I got! Honestly, because we've had so many ups and downs in our lives, I really didn't believe it. And then when I got to the class and I met Lewis, who was a fantastic helper and educator, it, it gave me more hope. If you push too many buttons at the same time, it can cause bad things to come up on the computer and it will keep us from having our computer. If we want to have our computer for a long time, like we like our health, that's why you take vitamins. Mommy, Mommy has to give the um, computer certain types of vitamins to keep it healthy, okay? That way we can learn how to keep our computer healthy and we can have it for a long time, okay? So it's while Mommy's learning how to do that, I'm not going to let you guys on, but so much time a day. You know, as a mother, you want to give your kids the world because before they get here, you promise them that children don't ask to be here. You bring them here. So when they're here, you're supposed to give them all of what they, what you can. Educating myself will educate my babies and they will receive everything that I promised them before they got here. You know, everybody around me has computers and now I'm catching up with that and my kids can see now okay, my mom's doing it, you know, she's not behind the times. Like my daughter just said a little while ago, she, she was saying to me, she was like, mom, she's like, we did it, we have a computer, and I said, yes, we did, and I'm proud of me, and I'm proud of them. Thought we needed a house, some friends, and a little, and a computer. <laughs> now we're, now we're in, right? Now we're cooking. <laughs>